Hello, everybody. Today we went to the quail farm. A quail is a bird of the partridge family, and in other words, just a mini chicken. We bought 200 quails on this farm. The total weight was 50 kilograms, and this cost us about $150. We will bake all these quails at one time in an earthen tandoor, but we haven't bought everything yet, so we go to the supermarket. We bought some foil plates, a lot of apple chips, 15 kilograms of oranges, mint, a lot of garlic, potatoes, squash, zucchini, onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, a lot of kefir, sunflower oil, olive oil, a bunch of different spices, honey, and head to the checkout. We collect all this in packages and load this all into the cart. The check came out to be about $100. There we go, now we head out to cook. We will have two different marinades. Therefore, we take the second box and transfer 100 quails into it. Done. Our first marinade is orange. Therefore, we open up the bags of oranges. We cut the fruits in half and squeeze the juice out of them right with our hands. And that's how we do the most of the oranges, but not all of them. And this is how much juice came out of 15 kilograms of oranges. Pour some black pepper into this juice. Open up the honey. And add that in too. Thanks to the honey, the quails will have a very beautiful crust. Add some curry. We pour out quite a lot of it. Also some olive oil. And a lot of salt. We mix all of this up well. And our marinade is ready. We pour this into the first tub. We cut the remaining oranges into circles. Throw this on top. And mix everything with our hands. Half of our quails have now already been prepared, and for the second marinade will be a kefir mint. First, we take four heads of garlic and crush each one. Thanks to this, most of the cloves fly out by themselves. Crush it again, only with the flat side of the knife, and cut it quite large. Pour that garlic into the bowl. You'll also need a whole pack of mint. And we squeeze all this with our hands so that the juice goes and it gives off the smell to the marinade. Open up some kefir and pour six liters into a bowl. For the color, a little bit of paprika, black pepper, sugar, and a lot of salt. We need all this together. Our second marinade is ready. We pour all this into the second tub. We also mix it around so that each quail is covered with the marinade.
Now we just need to cover the boxes with plastic wrap so that nothing else gets inside there. And now we'll leave this in a cold place for up to 15 hours. Do you remember that two and a half meter hole that we dug in the video with the preparation of a large ram? Okay, so we decided to improve it. To do this, my dad made such a shield out of boards. In the middle, I cut out a hatch to fit the size of the pit. To make it all even more beautiful, I burned it with a burner to show the texture of the wood. From above, I sanded this all with the sandpaper and covered it all with a stain so that the tree wouldn't rot. In order to cook 200 quails at one time, I had to cook another structure. Meter chains were attached to it. But that's not all. From the knitting wire, you need to make 200 segments of 10 centimeters. And we tie these segments in every six links of the chain. Our quails have already been completely marinated. We take them, punch them through the chest of the wire, and bend them up like a hook. And that's how we do it with all remaining 197 quails. The four of us to doing all of this together to make it faster. Done. And now it's time to warm up our earthen tandoor. We take some firewood and throw it in there some, for some small pieces. That, then larger. And finally some huge ones. In order not to climb into the pit, we will kindle this all with gasoline. We need to keep the fire burning for four hours so that the earth walls warm up really well. All the firewood has already been through. We put our shield of boards on top of the pit. And in order for the quails to be smoked, we filled apple chips in advance into these foil tins and soaked it so that it would be smoky really well. Drain out the excess water and just lower the vessel to the bottom of the pit, right onto the coals. And finally, we lowered 200 quails into the pit. And for us to know when they will be ready, we insert a thermometer into one of the quails. The smoke from the wood chips has already started, so we cover it up with the lid so that it doesn't get out, and we set 67 degrees on the thermometer. When the temperature on the left is the same or more, everything is ready. We waited literally 20 hours, and the thermometer started beeping, which means the quails are ready. We open up the lid, and we see very beautiful smoked quails. So we can take them out. And they are removed from our design very simply. Just unbend the wire, and pull off the carcass. We will put them now onto our big tray, Done. We just smoked 200 smoked quails, but we decided to make another side dish, and namely stew in a cauldron. To do this, you need potatoes, tomatoes, squash, bell peppers, zucchini, and onions. We cut the washed potatoes in half, and then into large chunks. Now for the squash. We cut off their tails in the front part, and half lengthwise, and then with their other halves. Do the same thing with the zucchini. Now Bulgarian peppers. We cut off the pulp from them. Cut all these pieces in half and you're done. Let them stay big. Cut the onion into half rings. Cut the tomatoes first in half, then again in a half, and cut across. That's it, all of our vegetables are ready. 
We take our stove. In the middle, we put a crumpled piece of paper on top of some small twigs and set it on fire. We add in some larger chips. We wait until it gets hot and put a cauldron on top. Pour the oil in a circle. Potatoes come first. It needs to be quickly fried to a crust. Next comes the onion. Open and pour up the seasoning for the potatoes. And mix it up. Then immediately the squash, zucchini, and bell peppers. And mix. After a couple of more minutes, we add the tomatoes. We open up some provincial herbs and pour the whole pack on top. Also dried tomatoes with herbs and olives. Now some black pepper. And mix all of our vegetables again. And one last thing, a squeeze out a pack of ketchup. Salt. And for the last time, we mix. That's it, our vegetable stew is completely ready. Cover it with the lid and remove it from the heat. Now everything is definitely ready. Pour the stew into the plate and top it with a quail. Now we try it. The stew is not greasy, it's moderately salty with the delicious spices. In general, the stew is the best and the quail is very soft. We tried ones that were in different marinades and the mint kefir marinade turned out to be way tastier despite the fact that it is five times cheaper than the orange one. During the filming, our dog barked at the side of meat all day, so we gave her one quail. I think she's pretty happy now. And if there are 300,000 likes on this video, then we will continue to make large-scale videos like this.